Ooh. Ah. Ah. These are like stray dogs. What are these dogs? Wild dogs. Before we start this video, I just would like to thank all my patrons that are going above and beyond to support my channel. You guys are amazeballs. I would also like to thank my subscribers and to those who supported me since the beginning, especially the Wait Army peeps. Thank you guys, you are all amazing. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to watch an OVA. Um, so today I am expecting an awesome backstory for Mikasa and I am looking forward to knowing any information about my people, the Asian people. <laughs> Um, like what happened to them and why is Mikasa the only Asian in the series <laughs> for some reason um, as I have been told that she's the only Asian and yeah so I am hoping to get these answers or these questions answered today so yeah so anyways let's just um, jump into the OVA Lost Girl Mikasa version let's go so before we start this video, please support my channel by giving this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get the latest videos. What's this? Oh, the gates? Oh! Oh, a very unlucky titan. That's actually brilliant. Like, it's very clever. But then not all titan would go to that space. So... The process to achieve the ultimate revenge will be brutal. All you can do is follow and be a tsundere. <laughs> it's not so bad if you think about it. <laughs> This music sounds very similar to Final Fantasy songs or soundtracks. Oh, oh yeah, wait, I've seen this before. Like this scene. <laughs> what you do? Yep, has the responsibility to Jaeger Sensei. <laughs> oh no, yeah, 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 I remember this one. Oh. Oh, these are flashbacks? Oh, this was so hard to watch. I remember this. But one of the epic scenes ever in the history of anime. Eren's death. Eren's strive for the ultimate revenge. But he won't die because he's the protagonist. <laughs> Protagonists don't die. Dad, where have you been? I've been looking for you. <laughs> He's so cute. Choose. Armin. <laughs> Aaron's too cool for school. Oh my goodness, so she was supposed to have a baby brother. A damsel in distress. I <laughs> know, she's going to be a badass. Uh -oh. Eren always runs for friggin' danger. 
Ooh. Ah. Ah. These are like stray dogs. What are these dogs? Wild dogs. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, this looks like a Hunter Hunter scene. You know, Colt and um, Reyna. What? Oh! Wait, what? Okay, it's either Mikasa or Eren who is a dog whisperer. Maybe it's Mikasa. Wait, if Eren can control uh, Titans, then he can probably control other animals too? Hmm. My god, their world is so brutal for kids to be able to see these things in broad daylight. So sad. He, he was so cute as a baby. Oh. Talong? I like that doll. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so curious about that? Ah, uh, the classic bird brings the baby. True. Now that I think about it, Erin must be a virgin up to now, the present. At least they both got to experience this before facing the harsh reality of their world. Because the future is very grim. Oh. He's so cute. <laughs> the power to control people. Or something. Crazy how they have this state of mind at the young age. Like they're so mature for their age. Uh, crazy how they're so mature at this age. When I was their age, I was climbing trees and thinking I want to be a potato. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a potato. <laughs> So weird to see Mikasa in a girly dress. She's cute. Oh, this is from the first episode, I think. Oh, bless. She's probably thinking if Eren dies and only a hand survives, she'll end up like that woman. <laughs> he was such a fan, even at a Hey. He's just a kid. Oh my goodness. Can't believe Mikasa didn't do anything. The present Mikasa would have cut all of them to pieces. Like, in less than five seconds. <laughs> I want that doll so much. I need that Aaron doll. <laughs> oh, he came alone. What? Who got an infection? Sena? Wait, what? 
Did the mom get the infection or Mikasa? I'm confused. This kid is so obsessed to going out of the outside world. Like, seriously, calm down, Aaron. <laughs> She's coming, isn't she? <laughs> She's that obsessed, huh? No. The start of the Tsundere syndrome. <laughs> The moves. Oh, they're so adorable. Ooh, a secret meeting. I don't think it succeeded because it never happened in season one. So. They're really leaving? <laughs> oh no. It's, it's the dad, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's easy. It's Mikasa. <laughs> Who is this? This should be easy for the present, Mikasa. <laughs> uh oh. Who is this person? What? Carries death within his body. <laughs> what? Is it because Aaron has a titan in his butt? Like, wait, is he for real? Is he a seer? Can he tell the future? Will Aaron really die? For real? Why are they telling me this in uh, an OVA? Isn't this like a spoiler or something? Oh! Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, she killed him. Wait, she saw um Bertolito, a Titan version of Bertold. Wait, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, it's a fake one. But still, <laughs> wait, can Mikasa see the future, or did that guy showed her the future? Oh my god, wait, ask him some stuff, don't just leave. <laughs> Oh, that's Armin. This is such a deja vu. Oh my god. Wait, this happened before, when Eren got eaten for the first time. Exactly this moment. 
Oh, I get it now. Ooh! Best episode ever. You can't top that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Isn't this like the most tragic way to live? Like thinking that your loved one is going to dive to their death and you have no choice but to just accept it and could only support them. But I think what the seer was saying, um, or well, I, this is just my hunch, that that person is a seer, can tell the future. And he told Mikasa about Eren dying or Eren's death. And maybe he was talking about the season one when Eren died, but then obviously he didn't because he transformed into a titan. So maybe that's what he meant, or maybe it's the far future where Eren really died. But then it's so weird because why would the animators or the authors show me this and expect me not to, <laughs> to have some assumptions and have some crazy theories, so... I don't know, Isayama. I don't know about you. <laughs> so, like I said, it is so weird for them to show that scene and give us ideas that, you know, Eren's going to die or with Eren's death. And, you know, I always assume things and I don't like the assumptions that I have right now. <laughs> um, so, I was just wondering if that guy can see the future like a seer. And Mikasa is believing that death will come to Eren in the future. Well, there's actually no doubt since his aim is to get revenge. And we all know that the road will be really, really rough. And there is no good ending in doing that. And if that's true, then Mikasa is the real protagonist or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is... This is what's making me confused, this OVA right here. Like, with this OVA telling me that Eren's going to die, and that scene where Mikasa saw, you know, Bertolito in his Titan form, and that was like the first episode of season one. And I don't know if this OVA is part of the real story of Attack on Titan, do let me know at the comment section because I'm actually quite a bit confused. And if it is, then my guess is Mikasa can see a little bit of the future. And that she is living at the moment with, you know, thoughts and, you know, thinking of the future that Eren's going to die. And yeah, it's such a tragic life for her. It's, you know, like knowing your loved one is plunging themselves to their death bit by bit but you have no control over their fate like this is amazing right writing right here and i love it and it kind of reminds me of the final fantasy 13 um part two with noel and sarah i love that game so much and i think i played it like three times <laughs> It was like a story about Noel and Sarah, like Noel uh, knew what was going to happen to Sarah because Sarah is a seer, but he still followed her till the end and trying and probably, you know, trying to stop that fate for her, for her dying and hoping for her fate to change. But I suppose it tells us as well that you just cannot go against fate like it is what it is you're still going to that road <laughs> like the end of the road is that's what it is it is what it is it is super sad and yeah i'm just hoping that Aaron, Aaron, don't die please <laughs> 
Like, I do hope that Aaron don't die in the process of his revenge for humanity because my boy cannot die. Like, I will flip this table if Mikasa or Aaron dies. Seriously. It's a no-no for me. Like, you cannot kill a protagonist. You cannot. No, no. Unless if Mikasa has the power to change the future. That would be amazing. And also... It was weird as well um, with that scene or from that scene with Aaron and Mikasa with the dogs. Um, I don't know how they stopped the dogs from eating them, but for some reason the dogs stopped. I don't know why. And there was this like kind of like a, an animation thingy around Mikasa and Aaron. So I'm not sure who has that kind of power but I am guessing it's Eren because like you know in season 3 or I think end of season 2 we know that Eren can control titans so maybe he can also control other species that's that's my crazy <laughs> theory right there but yeah there's there's a lot or that there's a lot that happened in this episode and yeah so my theory is going wild right now. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I really did enjoy this reaction or this video. And I hope you enjoyed my reaction video. And yeah, so that's it for today, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Janet.